Well, praise God. Welcome to Leah on the Light. It is good to see you guys today. We're going to go ahead and we're going to um, study the fifth chapter of Galatians. Uh, kind of continue where we uh, left off. And we will finish Galatians chapter 5 on Friday. And then Sunday, continue with Galatians chapter 6, we will, which we will finish by um, a week from the day. So, my competition's are right. We are doing uh, verses 11 to 15. No, 9 through, uh, 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 6 through 10, 11 through 15. Okay, if I remember correctly. Verse 6. Number quickly, okay. For in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. Now, I'm going to gloss over that because, quite frankly, you know, sometimes I think Paul beats a dead horse and makes it something where we sometimes don't understand. Verse 7, okay, this is this is where Paul's like, hey, you know, why aren't you guys apostatizing about this? Ye did run well. Who did hinder you that sh you should not obey the truth? Obedience, right? Verse 8. If I can get it to Mark. Sometimes technology is stubborn and time is precious. This persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Put this dang thing on do not disturb so I can podcast. The one bad thing about podcasting with a cell phone is often you get those crazy interruptions. And we don't have the time. So, we're going to see if we can find a New King James Bible um, translation or another. This is this as good as any. Um, now, this is a Catholic edition Bible, but I think we can still. Um, here we go. Who did. Uh, you did run with all. Who hath hindered you that ye should not obey the truth? This persuasion is not from him that calleth you. A little leaven corrupteth the whole lump. So here's the thing. Apostasy corrupts. Okay. And let's go in the Messianic Bible. Because sometimes I think... I mean, I love the King James. I swear by the King James. But there's times when, you know, when Paul is... And, you know, even even apostles like James and Peter say... He, uh, he says things that are hard to understand. <coughs> you were running well. Uh, who interfered with you that you should not obey the truth? This persuasion is not from him who calls you. A little yeast grows through the whole lump. So we'll just go ahead and say a little leaven corrupts the whole lump, okay? Now, verse 10. I have confidence in you through the Lord that ye will be uh, more otherwise minded. But he that troubleth you shall bear his uh, judgment, whosoever he be. Okay, so Paul, Paul has confidence. He knows that the, the, that the people in, in the churches in Galatians are confident, you know, that, that, that they're dependable. You know, that they'll take no other uh, view uh, and will not, you know, when I have a different opinion than what's already been preached to them uh, by Paul at that point. 
Okay, so that that's that's a lot to be thinking about. That's a lot to to chew on. Uh, quite frankly. And and sadly, this section of of verses, I don't know, just doesn't really have. You know what? I think this is where we need a little help explaining things. I mean, I know I know we know what circumcision is, but. I think we need to see this through the eyes of the church. Because, and don't get me wrong, I love, I love Paul's writing. A lot of it was really to educate the Galatians at this point about the customs of the Jews and how, you know, hey, the custom of the laws of Moses, well, it's not going to save you. Okay, right, so... So here we go. We're going to see if we can find the uh, circumcision. Here we go. Circumcision. The token.